guys, so I'm here with a zombie makeup tutorial. For this look, you're going to want to start off with a clean face. I'll be using Mehron's liquid latex for this look. So what you're going to want to do is kind of paint it on your face. It should come with an applicator brush, but if it doesn't, a normal paintbrush should work. Where you put it is going to be up to you, but as you can see what I'm doing is after I put it on, I let it dry just a little bit and then I start kind of pulling at it and and rubbing it to create some tears and holes and, and crinkle the, the latex a little bit. This will give the effect of like rotting flesh or like open wounds. Where you decide to place them will be up to you. You can have as many areas as you want to look like they're opened and wounded, I guess, or rotting. Or as little, I went with just like three areas, two larger ones and then one smaller one. If this is for a costume, I recommend going like down your neck even. I didn't do that here, but for actual costumes, you're going to want to do your face and your neck. You can even bring it onto your arms and any other skin that is showing. So just use that effect of where you let it dry for a little bit and start tearing it apart and just kind of layer it up until you get about the look that you think you want. It's really just tweaking with it until you're happy. Now I'll be using this kind of like mixture of greens and browns to basically just cover my face in it. But like I don't do it completely. I just do it around the edge of my face and any place that would normally be contoured, like around the bridge of my nose and chin area and the hollows of your cheeks and the temples. And then I just kind of outline the face with that and go on any er other areas like where I have the wounds and stuff and color that in too. And then I blend it out really well with a big fluffy brush. A side note before we move on is that there are many ways to do zombie makeup. So this is just one of the looks. Don't think this is the only look or that this is the right look because you can literally do it any way you want. As long as it just looks like you're a rotting dead person, basically. So for here, I'm taking a darker green and then going to be doing the same thing that I just did with the other green eyeshadows. I recommend you use a matte eyeshadow and not one with shimmer. I only had shimmer available though, so that's why it kind of looks shiny, but you really don't want that look. So if you have matte green eyeshadows, that'd be much better. But basically the color combination I'm trying to create is this like dark olive foresty, like puke green almost. So once you've gotten the coloring how you prefer it to be, I want to show you how to add like this kind of bloody look to the wounds. So I take a red eyeshadow base first and start filling in areas where it looks like it was like opened or the skin is tearing apart from it. So basically anyways, there's a kind of like circular shape to it. After that, I use this red and like kind of brownish red color from this like wheel I got at the dollar store to go over the areas where I just put in that red to try to darken it and make it look more like a blood color. This is just something I do or and did on my other wounds and that's go back over everything with this dark green mostly because I wanted everything to be more green because it wasn't showing up in the sliding very well. The colors look very dull but without the bright lights on them they looked a lot better. So after I kind of like darkened everything out a little bit more, even like the wound area, I go through with the fake blood and kind of apply that to around where the opening or tears in the skin or la liquid latex would be. For this I use a q-tip but if you have a detail brush it would probably work a lot better. Then I go back over what I've just did with like in the same areas with the bruise wheel colors from earlier and blend it out a little bit just because I'm trying to get the colors that I want and then I go back over it to kind of freshen up some of the blood and have a little bit less. Okay so there's some parts of the latex that are kind of stand out. That might also be because the eyeshadow is just super shiny so it's shinier on the latex than on my skin. So to fix that I'm going back over with concealer and dirty fingertips from the eyeshadow and everything still so that it keeps it all grimy looking and just kind of blending out all the edges of where the latex ends.
Okay, for my eyes, I decided to use a red and just kind of create these circles all around it, mostly focusing under my eyes and on the outer corners. You can do this with any color though, even like purples and blues to make it look like you have bruised eyes or no eyes. I'm now taking a brighter red eyeshadow though and keeping that closer to my water lines. And I just kind of use my fingers to blend it out a little bit instead of a brush. I don't know why, probably because my fingers are still dirty and I want to kind of blend in other colors. So I'm using a matte brown color and I just use my contour palette for this and kind of shading in like dark circles and any other areas that I kind of want to shadow to. And now taking that brighter or brighter darker green from earlier. I'm applying that to the outer part and then a fluffy blush to blend it all out. So here I'm just using foundation to fix up an area that got smudged a little bit from the colors from the eyes and I didn't want it to be there. Here I'm just using a black color and applying that to the outer corner of my eye and a little bit into the crease just to kind of darken things up a bit. I could have probably went darker and it would have looked fine. In fact, I probably would have had I done this again. So now I'm just taking green lipstick and applying that to my lips. And taking a brown color again, I'm just using the contour palette from earlier. I'm applying that to the inner part of my lips and then kind of blending it all out and smudging it just to give my lips a more darker ew green look. And I also applied some fake blood and I was saying there that you could apply it to your neck too to make it look better and for full costume it would probably be recommended. Once again, how you go about this look is up to you or whether you do this specific look at all. But anyways, I hope you guys found this helpful. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day. Bye bye.